Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, uh, today we're going to continue playing as the Enclave, and have a great time with them. Um, right now I'm taking a look at the NCR and seeing how they are doing. We're really trying to boost, boost up intellectualism, or the intellectual party, within the NCR as we, the Enclave, are trying to build up a lot more power armor. Because right now we are on a short of a shortage of manpower, in which... Uh, there's only so much of that we can really do about it. I want to use my political power for the various areas in which I can arm patriots when we go to war with the NCR. Mm-hmm. And that will happen, I believe. I haven't tried this before. But by arming patriots, we will have the Californian Civil War. In which proponents of the Enclave have taken to the streets and been fired on by gun runners and other NCR loyalists. The California Civil War has begun, which will be kind of nice. And also we can do crack the code so we can get more attack and defense against them as well. And then cause another civil war there. So, really, I just need more soldiers. I have seven power armor divisions that are trying to become 20 with divisions. They're not quite there yet, but they're trying. And then 11 infantry divisions, which is okay. I don't want to use infantry too much, but it's what I have. That's what I've got to use, so. And we are mobilizing a couple more men as we're doing civilization by force to attempt to get more manpower. A little bit more, not a whole bunch. And the scorpions are slowly dying. If they lose along 15, it's pretty much over for them. But uh, they have 14 manpower compared to the NCR. It's a little bit less than 5,000. Up to 55 divisions. And yeah. Okay, this was a little bit unexpected. The Western Brotherhood has still declared war on the NCR. I really didn't see that one coming. What the heck? Outside recruitment, draw the sword. Right now is probably the absolute best time to cause a civil war. So, yeah, we'll do that. I how We could wait for the NCR to find us, but by then... Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know how the Brotherhood's actually going to do against the NCR, because the Brotherhood doesn't have a lot of manpower, but they have quite a few divisions. The NCR has quite a few divisions, but has a little bit more manpower than the Brotherhood. I'm going to wait until I really see what happens here. And I do want them to, to discover me because then they'll immediately declare war on us, which will be, of course, a great, great thing. So, yeah. Um, Kaisar's Legion declared war on the Dam Busters. Things are definitely heating up now. Ooh. But for us, gearing up for war is good. Where already did our next... The only conscription level that we can do. Yeah, we need a lot of power armor, though. It's a ridiculous amount of power armor. Looks like the Brotherhood is flooding over uh, this part of California. Flooding into other parts of California. The Scorpions have pushed the NCR back. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to have to immediately go ahead and do um, this Californian Civil War. Old World Uprisings. Yeah, because this is a little bit scary. I don't want the Brotherhood to win too much. I don't mind them winning some. But I got to make sure that I take something out of this. But the NCR, they should... Oh, man, I don't know. Scorpions are coming back right at them really hard, though. Despite them having no manpower. This is very unexpected. This is really unexpected. Holy crap. Oh, man, the NCR is not doing so well. Oh, man. What is the war like? Let's see, the Arroyo NCR Civil, Civil War. 39,000. Holy crap. The Scorpions killed nearly 40,000 people from the NCR. Jesus. Oh, this is not looking good at all. Uh, I kind of wish I went to war with them by now. Um, Yeah, this is very interesting seeing this. Wow. Just wow. I don't think the NCR can really recover from this. The Brotherhood just might be too strong for a very weakened NCR. Spies compromised. Civilization by force. So, we have received an emergency transmission from our espionage in the New California Republic. They claim to have been compromised and have abandoned their base of operations as a result. Days away from the border and on foot, they are asking for emergency evacuation. Heroic extractions and no man left behind look good on action after reports, but we need to consider our operational security as a whole when deciding our response. 
I'll just send an extraction team by Vernet to Bird. I don't care. We get some stuff out of it anyway, so that's good. Um, yeah, we need to definitely do Californian Civil War or something like that because I need to get into this war against them as fast as possible. Tw oh, 20 days. That's good. Uh, I'm going to wait till the focus is done, but I will go ahead and put in some more areas for me to arm Patriots. I definitely want Sac City, so let's do that. That'll be good, because I will have to go to war with the Brotherhood eventually. Hide and CR actions, that's fine. Send out spies, go ahead and do that. Physical blueprints, nice. 169 days. Resource efficiency gains. I'm going to go do that ahead of time. It's fine with me. Go ahead and minimize this line by as best as you can. And do that. This was incredibly unexpected. I did not imagine the Brotherhood going to war with the new California Republic this quickly. Ooh. Okay, so New Vegas in the Mojave chapter and the Dam Busters were annexed. Holy crap, Kaiser is really going at it. So the Great Khans versus Kaiser, alright. But we also have a Royal versus NCR. The Brotherhood has lost not that many soldiers, which is kind of terrifying. And apparently, like yesterday, my cat wants, or like within the past few days, my cat wants to come back in here. Who's behind the door when my door is closed? I'll be right back. Come on, Binky. 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 Come on. And... Binky. All right. Well, my apologies. I guess Binky wasn't very interested in coming into my room. Oh well. Cool. Uh, three days, two days, one days. Don't you hate it when your cat is clawing the carpet outside your room? Don't you really hate it? I know I hate it. Binky. All right. My bad. My apologies. He's a, he's a funny little guy. He's a funny, thick guy. Cool. And within 100 days, he'll go to war with us. I don't really care. I really don't. Because in 27 days, we'll be able to go to war with them, even though it looks like the spread from the Brotherhood is slowing down. A Supreme Court injustice. Mr. President, archive historians have found records which prove conclusively that our ghoul Supreme Court Justice was actually a traffic court judge. Something we should get rid of him, but we have to admit... Brahmin convoys have never flowed so smoothly. Um, actually, I'm going to go for more political power because I can help spawn more of the Civil War this way. Uh, let's see. Probably this Redding would be a better area to do it. Even though I still need to do Tumble Down Ranch, I believe. So I don't really care if the NCR is onto us. And I'm going to go ahead and go to war with them once we have this focus done. So we'll do that, and then we'll go to war. Since this, it's definitely slowed down somewhat against the NCR. And I'll make sure, using player-led peace conferences, that I take an adequate amount of territory from the NCR while giving some territory to the other belligerents, we'll say. Um, anything we can do here? Not really. Ooh, recon infiltration. Nice. More training time, but we get more reconnaissance. Now we get more soft attack, heart attack, and recruitable population, which is nice. This will ultimately be the death of the NCR, which will be great for us. Come on. The NCR can't hold on for that long without us. For me, I'll probably take a huge chunk of territory. The Brotherhood's probably going to get quite a bit of territory as well. The Scorpions might get a little bit, but I'm going to take a lot of part of this when we get there. All right. Nice, California Civil War. So, unlocks the Old World Uprising thing. We'll do Crack the Code next for the NCR, and then... Old World Uprising. Get the event, the Californian Revolution. So, Enclave Loyalists are ready to rise in support. It's time for the Eagle to slay the bear. As well as everyone else is trying to kill the uh, bear as well. Let's go, go ahead and try that. I've never done this before, so let's see what happens. So, while technically speaking more of an invasion, the support we have built up with the desperate and destitute in the new California Republic allows us to portray the event as a popular uprising. Our signal has been sent out across the nation. It is time to take up arms against the corruption of the NCR regime. Down with the bear and up with the stars. We, uh, They declare war on us, and I become owner of several cities. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh good lord. That was amazing. Oh, we also get... Oh, we get the militia units. Oh. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Uh, they're only 10 and a half combat width, and their stats aren't super, super great, but hey, I'd rather have them than not have them. 
Now we're mostly just a group of people that are uh, not even using power armor. So go ahead and do that. And just go ahead and fill things out if you can. Cool. Uh, yeah. Overall, we want to. I'm not going to sign a non aggression pact with the Brotherhood just because you never know if we might end up at a war with them. Ooh, Northern League. Because if I could take out the Brotherhood next, that would probably be the absolute best thing I could do. Come on, take these guys out. Get to the line where you need to be. We got some militia units here. They're going to do great. Requisition resources. That's a terrible thing to do if you look at the stats. Requisition equipment. Remove arms factory, but you get 500 NCR equipment. It's not bad. That one isn't terrible. Um, scavenge for old world tech. Uh, I think I would rather use my political power for something else next. So yeah, I'll be honest, I was, I played this mod again, but I decided to play as the Western Brotherhood of Steel. Very fun, very, very fun country to play as, faction, nation, whatever you call it. And I would definitely recommend it. But yeah, I, mean, I had a good time. I don't think that the, actually, the Western Brotherhood is fully finished yet. It feels incomplete. Like, there should be more things to do once you actually like, win the war against Kaisar and the NCR and maybe even the Enclave, but it just feels like there's something missing. I want you to come down here first. And then work your back way back up. There you go. No, they're not going to get any supplies for here. And the Veil Bandits declare one. The Paz Bandits, huh? So Baja California is in a mess. As well as the NCR. So we've lost. Oh. Oh, Sac City Remnants. So we have lost 49 guys, which is good. Compared to the NCR, which we have destroyed 1.2 thousand. Wow. So the East Coast Exiles. To our astonishment, a group of unrecognized vertebrates have approached our location with a legitimate enclave call signal or call sign. They are led by a lieutenant named Schultz Sporting Enclave Power Armor. Schultz traveled from the Raven Rock facility in the capital wasteland, leading a vert vert assault team dispatched by Colonel Autumn ooh, to salvage assets from the ashes of Navarro and the rig. The mission was a suicide errand designed by Autumn to purge opposition from his ranks. Those that survived found us, not ruins. While news of this illegitimate President Eden is troubling, most of the Enclave's vertebrates went east with Autumn's father, and Schultz's tactical experience could be invaluable in integrating air power with Enclave ground forces. So we get... Oh my gosh. 500 manpower, 50 gunships, 50 transports, and we get Michael Schultz. And, but to be sure, this is a surprise, but a welcome one. Oh my god. I love this. Sac City Remnants. After the fall of Navarro, many survivors, many survivors tried their luck at integrating into the NCR. While a large number were found out and arrested, many more successfully began their new lives in Sac City. Those people and their descendants have now petitioned to rejoin us in the Enclave. I need manpower. I'm going to welcome them back. Uh, to end the tyranny over here, what we could do... Uh, come down here, and then we'd be actually really good. You come over here so they can't get any more supplies. That'd be awesome. Finish those guys off. Go ahead and just start taking the territory around here. Make sure these guys can't move. Nice, cut them off. Yeah, the NCR is basically going to be dead. Now, I need Navarro, so we will have to go to war with the Brotherhood of Steel, which really, really sucks. Because they have a lot of divisions, they got a lot of manpower, and I don't have nearly the amount of equipment as they do. So we're probably not going to be able to go to war with them extremely soon. So, Wow, further demoralization, so they get even less surrender limit and less division attack. You know, I would say to do that, but at the current moment, I don't think that'd be good for us since... I want as much war score as possible. And I do want... I'm drinking coffee, by the way. But I do want the Brotherhood to take as many hits as humanly possible. Let's see, what, what is this? Wow, some of these are expensive. 15% more division attack is good. Uh, let's see, do we get... Ooh, First Citizen's Lynette. Oh, I didn't realize this. She's an elite member, which isn't good for us. But she does give us more war sport, more research speed, less justify war gold time... That's not bad. Oh, it was Chief of the Air Force. That's right. Ah, uh, there's Michael Schultz. More close air support attack, defense, and agility. Not bad. Hmm. Gotta love copy. Cool. So, for these guys. A lot of them are just kind of hanging out. But we need to actually take some land. So, you all, 
end up like going this way, that'd be good. You guys end up going this way. You guys all end up down here or something like that. Uh, I'm gonna tell you to stop. Increase your speed. Stop. Come here. Come here. Come here. Do that. Snake your way around. Uh, let's see. Yeah, don't do that. Hold him there in place. Scorpions are doing quite a bit of damage, which is kind of unsettling, I shall say. Crack the code. Now we get a bonus against the NCR, which is great. We could do the Bishop Incident. Don't really need to do that. The Lucia Incident doesn't really matter. I mean, the Brotherhood's already at war with them. I could make the Desert Rangers go to war with the NCR, but that literally would prove nothing here. Yeah, that would literally prove nothing. And now I really want to focus on infantry, since I think I have enough infantry equipment. So we don't need to do these focuses, either one of those two. I could do some more de Department of Defense stuff, which is really actually pretty good stuff. And that will give us more manpower, but we're okay on manpower at the moment. So let's come back over to the left. We will need to rebuild a nation eventually, but we need greater day glow. Yeah, we definitely need to get greater day glow, shady sands, and control more than 40 states. And the NCR must have fallen. Which, of course, will ruin my economy of what I've heard before. Um, There's nothing to the left of here, so... Enforce a gecko power plant. Right now we're in the war, and if I do this, I get more cores, but I do lose... Factories, but we're gonna get factories in the end from taking it's taking them from the NCR, so that's not bad. And there we go. All right then. So I'm not gonna do this off screen. I'm just gonna show everything to you here, and I will give territory to where I think territory should belong to. So I guess all of this is mine already. Nice. Uh, that's actually really good for us. Let's see. Let's see scorpions. I will be balanced a little bit, so I'll give them this stuff from the Brotherhood. They deserve that. That's it. That's all they deserve, because they actually push back the enemy somewhat, but I'll probably end up going to war with the Scorpions, maybe eventually. Actually, probably not, because I don't want to end up in a war with Kaisar's Legion. I'd rather take out the Brotherhood before the Scorpions. Next up, the Brotherhood. So, because I'm using player-led peace conferences, this isn't completely fair, what I'm doing. But then again, why would I want to be fair? And I need day greater day glow, so... Uh, yeah, there you go, Brotherhood. You get that part. I'm going to take this part. Um, This is technically connected through a lake. I don't mind giving you this, but I'm taking Greater Day Globe. You can have these islands. Uh, this obviously makes sense for you to take. And then... I don't mind giving you this stuff as well. I definitely need this, 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 this. I will definitely take this down here in great day, Greater Day Globe. I'll take the terrain which you cannot move through. I will do that first. I'll take that too. So we definitely will expand. I mm, I think I'm a little overpowered with what I should be given. I will give them... Ooh. Let's give them that for now. Now, I'm not going to give Arroyo anything. They didn't do that much. They did a little bit, but not a whole much. Whole bunch. I'll take this. But I'll give the Western Brotherhood... Nothing. There you go. So, the fall of the NCR. Yesterday, it, in the bombed-out Capitol building of Shady Sands, the NCR officials we we could scrounge together signed the unconditional surrender of their republic. Enclave troops have gone from fighting pockets of resistance to policing the many new annexed Americans. It is shocking news to the entire East Coast, which right now doesn't exist, to see the previous greatest power brought low. The future of the citizens are uncertain. Though some of them have already taken to the message of the new government, others remember the stories of what the Enclave once planned for those people they called mutants. We get less stability, less war support, which we can take the hip. Any nations we are still at war with, but don't border us, will be signing a white peace. We get careful what you wish for. God bless the Enclave. Oh no. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. Oh no, we lose 50% war support and 25% stability. Ah, ah. The destruction of the NCR has left our army overextended, with raiders and super mutants attacking outlying towns. The people of the NCR are bitterly divided between those who hope for a better future and those who fear the power armor marching through their towns. The NCR loyalists have taken to the hills, sniping at our men and supply convoys. Factories and caravan routes lay idle, as merchants fear whether their dollars are worth the paper they're printed out printed on, and California's leadership awaits their fate, wondering if they can work with the reunited states or if they will end their days at a camp in the Mojave. The Enclave has won, but time will tell in destroying the NCR America has lost. Mm. But I was told they would welcome us as liberators. 
Oh, we lose 25% legitimacy as well. So we lose non-core manpower, mobilization speed, recruitable population factor, supply consumption goes up. We lose division recovery rate, war su even more war support, and justify war goes times plus 50%. We get collapsed government. Oh my good lord. No wonder you want me to go to war first. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. And there might be an exchange of things as well. Oh my god. Californian resistance. Collapsed government. Anarchy. Weekly stability goes down. Oh my gosh. Disorganized army. Um, division attack goes down. A little bit of population mobilization speed. I can go immediately to peacekeeping. So I get weekly stability to counteract something else. Hold on. Do we have any decisions here we can take? Oh my gosh. Um, right now I'm going to disable the holotapes because we really don't need them. Sorry if you want me to play them, but I'm not going to do that right now. So this gives us less 0.5 minus, minus 0.5 stability every week. I feel that I have... Oh, and this gives us another 0.5 minus stability. I think I have to take this right now so I can at least combat my stability loss. Yeah, I have to do that. So... Oh my god. Oh! But I can rebuild a nation. Ooh, that's At least we can do that. Now, how long would it take for me to go to war with the uh, Desert Rangers? That would, I'm sure it would take a... 300 days actually isn't bad. That actually isn't too bad. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send you over here. Um, We do border them down here, so actually... You all come over here. Do that. And you all come down here. And you do that. We actually have uh, dockyards, finally. It's not too bad. I want a super heavy barge to begin. And we'll deploy them in Gunderson Ranch. Now, what do we need? We definitely need more power armor. We need some more... Uh, Flying machines and some support equipment. Uh, actually, militia, rebel militia, they did pretty well. Their soft attack is 112, hard attack is 70, but my enclave auxiliaries have much better stats. So I'm probably going to convince or tell everyone to become, instead of militia, just become infantry. And actually, do the infantry, they need logistic companies. I need to do that next. But because of what I just did, we're going to need some more anti-personnel equipment. Definitely more power armor and a lot more support equipment as well. So let's do that. Quite a few of this. Increase that by three. Increase this by that much. And give the rest of that to them. Do that. Do that. That should be okay. Fish. All right. NCR crack code is no longer has been removed because its prerequisites are no longer fulfilled. Well, at least we've definitely expanded. The Western Brotherhood has definitely expanded as well, even though they do have some territory that we do claim. It could be worse. It could be much, much worse. I do know I have to go to war with the Kaisar's Legion eventually. And they're doing Pax Romana. Oh, they didn't do this. Oh, that's not good. This actually limits them to what they can do. Oh, I hate it when... Things don't go according to plan, to a degree. They still have this stuff, Nova Romana. And eh, if they don't have this, that's still okay. They can still do other stuff, I think. I hope. White Legs Petition. Oh, they can't even do the White Legs Petition. Because they can't do the Burn Man or the Triumph at the Dam. Honestly, I'm, I'm probably going to cheat a little bit. Just because I want them to get the Kaiser's Legion to get down to this part. So between this episode and the next, I'm going to make sure that Kaisar's Legion will be able to get through here, so... A little bit of cheating, or using console command. It's not really cheating, since I'm not benefiting from it. If anything, it's going to hurt me in the long run. So, I'm going to make sure that they are actually able to do what they need to do. So, we actually have a good, very, very balanced, fun game. And we're out of manpower. God dang it. Wait, what is this? Prioritize civilian relief. Get legitimacy. Less construction speed. Oh, what is this? Raiders? Washington Brotherhood does not exist. Another victim for the Washington Brotherhood. Oh shit, that's a... That's a Washington Brotherhood? That's a North Northern League. I didn't realize that was Washington Brotherhood. Secure the Northern Border. Has completed the focus rebuilding a nation of frumentarius defects. As, an, as America wakes up from its slumber and the wasteland begins to rally to our cause, a former member of the Legion has now appeared in New Reno, asking to join our army. Has taken the name Ulysses after a great soldier who fought to unite America under one flag and vows that when he sets his flag down, it'll be over his body or a nation he believes in. Sandy Shady Sands Remnants. After the fall of Navarro, many survivors tried their luck at integrating into the NCR while a large number were found out and arrested. 
this is just the same thing we had with Sac City. We're going to welcome him back because I immediately need more manpower. I don't mind prioritizing civilian relief because we could use a little bit more legitimacy, to be honest with you. But securing the borders? Oh, the Legion marches? Oh, that's not good. Does not exist. The Washington Brotherhood must not exist. And Raiders. Oh. Yeah. Once we're done enforcing American culture, I definitely have to do rebuilding a nation. Well then. A surprise to be sure, but this one this surprise wasn't very welcome. Ooh. So we're done we're not done with our land auction yet, but we're getting closer and closer. Scrap motorcycles sound like fun. Let's do that. We might need those actually. Uh I do want more legitimacy. I mean there's nothing I can do about this. Another victim for the Washington Brotherhood. Uh Enforce American culture. All oh, right, nice. So we lost some factories, but we did gain some more core territory, which is good. Now let's go ahead and do rebuilding a nation. So the Enclave will be known as the Enclave Reconstruction Authority and the pe President and the People. And rebuilding this United States. Oh, God. I'm not sure Washington Brotherhood, if they actually go, will go to war with us. I'm a little cautious about it. A little cautious. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some power armor up there. At least we got 213 manpower. At least we got something. Just think, um... Yeah, 15 days, 54, 264. Secure the northern border. So I need to do the... We're building a nation. At least six divisions in Redding. Um, I kind of don't mind that. Just kind of hang out in Redding then. It's fine with me. Definitely want to do a whole military theory committee. Even though we're not really getting any command power at all. So, secure the northern border. And I complete my focus now. Not too bad. Not too bad. Please don't go to war with me, Brotherhood. Another victim for the Brotherhood. Uh, with the fall of the Troll War and the Raider faction under Paladin, Rodriguez is eager for new plunder. They set their sights on another isolated settlement and it seems no one shall stop them. The old country... Oh... So that just basically gave the Brotherhood a free claim. Oh, the ally with Port Mall against the old country, which is up there. Oh, I'm okay. Well, there's nothing I can really do about that, so. And the infrastructure sucks up here, so. I don't think they're going to go to war with us anytime soon, but of course, I could be wrong. Yeah, keep Kaiser over there with the Scorpions. Yeah, let the Scorpions deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. Manifest. They have a lot of manpower now. What the heck? Manifest Destiny. War goal... Justify War Goal time goes a little bit further down for them. Alright, well, whatever. Next up for us... Prioritize the civilian relief. I don't have enough political power to do that. I failed it. I didn't lose legitimacy. Um... I... Oh, I wish I could... wish I could have done that, but I guess I couldn't. Next up is the Legion Marches. With the fall of New California and New Canaan, the greatest opponents of the Legion lie in ashes. Who's going to stop Kaisar in his bid to conquer the Wastes? I hope to God that it's going to be the Brotherhood and the Scorpions. Oh, I still have this area down here too. Enclave Reconstruction Authority. So, for over 200 years, the Enclave President has wielded a great amount of power within the organization, if not all. With the Congress only given at an advisory role and lacking any true power as a le legislative branch, but times have changed rapidly. We are no longer a limited military organization, but a government. How will the role of President change the future? So, the ruling party will now be called Douglas MacArthur, or the ruling party will now be called Douglas, Mac Douglas Granite. Why did I say Douglas MacArthur? It's Douglas Granite. Oh. Popularity of autocracy. Oh, oh, we changed flags. Is that that's a flag I used for my thumbnail? Nice. Oh boy, this tells me that we've really got to think about things here. Uh Hayes is vice president, or when the following must be true. Ooh, oh god, I don't know. Do I want to be autocratic? Oh my goodness, this is... Oh, no. Fund the EPA. Has political advisor Lieutenant Collier. Yes. Oh, this is really good. I need to get the EPA person. The Gek Project? Horses? Oh, no. Don't tell me this is what I have to do now. Oh, God, no. 
I already made sure that we did not enforce segregation. There is no segregation here. Um, what's on the right side? Defeat the Axis of Evil. Broken Coast. Colorado Line. Legion Atrocities. Operation Brutus. From the top down. Promote the I exchange of ideas. It's treason then. Oh my gosh. Learning from each other. Oh, let's see. Western Brotherhood becomes a puppet of the Enclave. And I become controller of several things. Ad Victorian. Cleansing of the Mojave. Oh my gosh. Demo I wasn't told I would make a hard decision now. <laughs> the ruler party. Well... It takes a strong president to be president. God dang it, this is this is hard. Strong people to bring peace to America. It takes a strong president. Ooh. You know what? I've already gave people segregation anti segregation stuff. So that just screw it, it'll be autocratic. I don't know. Don't blame me. Um Oh, that was hard to choose. That's really hard. Um, revive the Federal Reserve. What's the best one to do? Oligarchy lose legitimacy. Fate of our democracy. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, presidential dictatorship. Voting Rights Act or silence Congress. Suspend elections. Free elections. Yesterday's enemies. Ooh, what is this? Gain stability, political power, effective change. Not bad. Brotherhood leadership. Brotherhood soldiers. Ooh. NCR leadership. Incorporating them to serve. Or reluctance to serve. Oh, that's... California Resistance does that. Business of California. To unlocks events and decisions relating to the fate of California and reuniting the states. To rebuild different areas of the country. Oh my gosh, this is so in-depth. This is so incredibly in-depth. Chamber of Commerce. Infrastructure construction speed. Uh, this stuff is nice. Not really needed at the moment. Law and order. Emergency labor draft. Construction speed goes up. Hearts and minds. Stability, political power. I know I'm talking through this right now. I don't know which one to do. Because there's so much here. And I could do uniting the uniting the states of America. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to do yesterday's enemy because that will help us a little bit right now. But before we're done here, I do want to ask you one thing. We have defeated the NCR. And now is the time for me to choose whether to go under the Gannon Doctrine or as firm as granite. I want you to tell me your comments below. Put, you know, put your comments below. And I'll decide between reading your comments and my own thoughts as to which way we will go. Maybe I've already, I've already chosen which way we can go. But regardless, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we attempt to rebuild America. Thanks for watching.